in this video, we want to talk about the Windows Server additions in the Core and Cloud licensing model. So we've already talked about what the Core and Cloud licensing model is. We've talked about how to license your Windows Server environment with the correct amount of cores. But there's also two editions of Windows Server. So we have Windows Server Standard and Windows Server Data Center. So Windows Server comes in these two different flavors, which we call different editions. And one of the biggest uh, differentiators between the two is the uh, virtualization rights that you get with either Windows Server Standard or Windows Server Data Center. So with Windows Server Data Center, if you license your physical machines, uh, for instance, with Windows Server Data Center, you are allowed to run the server software on the physical operating system environment. And on top of that, an unlimited amount of virtual machines. So if I have a server, I license it with Windows Server Data Center, I get to use as many virtual machines on top of that physical machine as I possibly require. This is great, especially if you run many different servers and have a lot of different VMs on top of those servers that can move between the different hosts, as we, as we call them in that sense, then Windows Server Data Center is usually your go-to. This does require a sort of break-even point. So the break-even point, we will talk about that in a minute. But if you have a highly virtualized environment, Windows Server Data Center is probably your go-to licensing for model for Windows Server. With standard, the Windows Server Standard Edition, you're able to run the software in two operating system environments on your server and then additional two VMs or virtual operating system environments. What this means is basically if I license my Windows Server with Windows Server Standard, I get to run on top an ad additional two virtual machines and those virtual machines should have the same core count as the physical machine that I've licensed. However, these licenses are stackable. So if you have multiple virtual machines running on top of a single Windows Server standard host, you can add multiple licenses of Windows Server standard in order to license those additional virtual machines above the two virtual machines that you are granted with this licensing model. So these licenses are stackable. Why is this important? We come back to that break even point. So for Windows Server Standard and Windows Server Data Center, there is a break even point when it becomes more financially attractive to use Windows Server Data Center. And that amount is approximately 12 VMs per host. So before that amount, it might financially make more sense to use Windows Server Standard. However, from a management perspective, you usually see that um, they will start to use Windows Server Data Center faster the more virtual machines there are because it's just easier to manage your environment if you have unlimited virtualization. You don't have to keep counting the amount of VMs that land on a certain host. You don't have to lock in um, the VMs to that certain host, etc. When we keep looking at the additions, Windows Server Data Center and Windows Server Standard, there are some feature differences as well which are called out here on the screen. So basically what you see in the bottom left is the components of the makeup Windows Server and how they're available for data center or standard edition. Basically where the biggest difference is, is the amount of virtual machines that you're able to run unlimited in data center and uh, two in the standard edition. But also there's some storage features that are included in Windows Server Data Center that aren't included in Windows Server Standard. Uh, you have the option of shielded virtual machines and you have the option of using a network controller in Windows Server Data Center that you don't have within Windows Server Standard. Now, additionally, there are some free features of or editions of Windows Server, namely the essentials. Um, Windows Server Essentials is typically something that smaller organization, organizations use. So like if you have up to 25 users or 50 devices, the Essentials edition might make sense for you. It's a free edition. You don't have to pay anything for it. It also has no client access license requirements. And um, Microsoft has a product called Hyper-V. It's the free hypervisor that you can download. It's also included in the uh, standard and data center editions. So if you want to use their hypervisor, you're always allowed and able. You don't need additional licenses for their hypervisor. Uh, for instance, if you're aware, if you are using VMware or 
any other uh, virtualization tooling, Nutanix or, or whatever, and that will usually cost you an additional premium from that uh, vendor. But you could also investigate if Hyper-V already suits your requirements and use that free of charge.